I am Dr. Julie Steiner. Let's talk about a topic that kind of has me like, like that with my own profession. All right, I better explain that one right away. But I was reading about an article from the Neuro Optometric Rehabilitation Association, otherwise known as NORA, and it talks about using a specific form of treatment or glasses called prism glasses. And they discuss using these for patients who've had traumatic brain injury. Now, I'm not totally against prisms, but I am against prisms for the most part with the way that they're being utilized by most doctors. Yeah! All right, they should not be utilized as a crutch. And if you're utilizing them as a crutch or you're giving them as a crutch because the person or individual doesn't necessarily know how to help you with using your two eyes together as a team in a way that you need, don't need those, then I have a problem with it. <laughs> now, we use them as a training tool. So we'll use prisms in our functional vision therapy program all the time. All types of different prism glasses are being utilized to train our patients how to perceive where things are located and then project accurately where things are located at in space. That's a huge problem for someone who's had a traumatic brain injury. They don't know how to perceive where things are at nor project accurately where they expect them to be or to see them at. And that's a big issue. So prisms sometimes can help that person learn how to accurately judge space again. But if we're talking about let's just use a pair of prisms to shift over your visual space over here because you lost your visual field over here. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> because I and I can't tell you how many calls I get from patients who are like, I've got these darn glasses to shift my stuff over here and I, I hate them. <laughs> no wonder. Because you're going to walk into stuff over here on this side. It's craziness. But again, sometimes the things that we do to help our patients, we need to, you know, really think about how we're helping them. What happens in some instances of traumatic brain injury is that a person's visual world may seem as though it has shifted from one side to the other. Now, this can happen especially if someone's lost their visual field, it will tend to shift. So if all of a sudden I can't see over here on this side, my visual field will shift. But if it happens as a result of traumatic brain injury and it's not a loss of visual field, it could also be from a loss of neglect, right? So someone begins to neglect one side of their body as a result of a specific area within the brain that was affected um, by this traumatic brain injury. But it also can happen when those two things aren't present, all right? So sometimes even in patients who haven't had traumatic brain injury but have a binocular vision or two-eyed alignment issue, their visual space will shift from one side to another and it's based on how their eyes line up. Now, we could use prisms, put them in glasses, and say, let's just shift your space appropriately. So, oh, <clears throat> you, for instance, tend to cross your eyes. Let's give you a pair of prisms to like align the image to where your eyes are crossed at. Well, that sounds fantastic in theory, but the problem is, is that over time, the brain will become adaptive to that. And as it becomes adapted to that, then you will need stronger and stronger glasses and it won't do the same thing for you. So you've really, in effect, built in a crutch for your brain. We believe at Vision for Life, and I believe you shouldn't do that. You should actually train the brain how to process visual information without needing a crutch. We don't want a bunch of people out there relying on something that um, to improve their vision unless it's just absolutely necessary and there's no other way around it. But even in those cases, I can tell you they are so few and small that most of the time we should just be teaching people how to utilize vision accurately without prism glasses. Again, doesn't mean that you don't use them for training. And in some small instances, use them long term. But those should be very, very rare instances because you're just building the person's ability to use something as a crutch that they'll need to continue to have for a lot of number of years. And as they become adapted to it, it gets worse and worse. And then they need stronger and stronger prism. So I really, ah, this one really frustrates with, with frustrates me within my own community of doctors even because I just feel that we should do a, um, a better job 
at training our patients how to have the correct and accurate representation of where things are at in space, not only with perception, but what we call projection. I know some of this was kind of heavy and meaty for those of you who are like, maybe you're the one that has the traumatic brain injury and you're like, what is perception versus projection? Oh my gosh. And yes, someone just prescribed me prism glasses and I hate them. Well, if that's you or if it's someone that you know, then reach out to us. Our phone number is 618-288-1489. Reach out to us and talk to us about it because we're not going to recommend that as the first thing ever. In fact, most of the time, I take patients out of it almost immediately. I know, but it works because I just train their brains how to do it themselves without needing the crutch. Um, but you can also go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You can fill out a questionnaire that's on that front page. And what happens is, is if you happen to be contacting us from Australia because you're interested in like, you just had this happen and you want to find out what you can do to get rid of those glasses, then you can go there and that's the first step. We do work with patients all over the world because we connect with your doctors and we work as a team. It's awesome stuff and we're happy to work with you. So don't think that you can't work with us just because you don't happen to be in our vicinity. With that, I'm going to say thanks for tuning in and tag someone to watch this video if you know someone who could benefit from it.